Welcome to LightUp Essentials. This is a series of video tutorials on using LightUp. In this video, uh, I want to continue uh, talking about materials and the sorts of things you can do with them. I got this model that I was using before. Um, one thing that uh, you have with uh, in SketchUp is uh, an object called an image, and it allows you to lay an image on a surface um, and just import directly. Uh, so if I can, for example, drag an image here of a hard-working PhD student. Um, now you see I've laid it on the wall uh, here. Um, LightUp knows about SketchUp images, so that when you place these objects on, on surfaces like this, you don't get any of these sort of Z-fighting you normally would get if you tried to place a polygon or a, or a face on top of each other, of the, the two flickering between each other because not knowing who should be in front. LightUp knows how to process uh, these uh, images so that if we, if we then start up uh, Tortal, you'll see it's perfectly lit and you get no, uh, no flickering at all because it, it's, it's uh, able to figure out that the, uh, it's, a, it's essentially a surface detail uh, image. And you can see the reflection, in fact, in, in the ground. Um, now, if I um, turn to this area light, I can double click on it and I can change its material also. I'm going to just scrub down diffuse to black. Now, it's still an area emitter. It's simply that its color is, is, is dark. And I'm going to scrub up um, specular. So now its color is entirely coming from uh, what's being reflected. And you can see um, pictures of that hardworking. PhD student, um, and uh, that's all fine. Now I can I can do stuff like I can actually uh, change the color of this to tint. I can tint this mirror by just changing its base color, um, or I can just have it as a, just a pure uh, a pure mirror. I can also uh, have uh, sort of a Fresnel tint to it um, if that's what. Uh, Goes. Now, the reason I introduced this uh, using uh, images is that they're great for adding kind of little extra details. So here I've just got um, a, a picture that I've put on the wall, a photo. Um, I can, one of the nice things is I can do, uh, if I take, uh, here's another image um, that I'm going to just drag in, and it's just a little bit of scuffing detail. So I put a little scuff. Um, on this mirror to add sort of some some dirt essentially, and again, LightUp knows how to uh, how to deal with um, SketchUp images. So what we've got here is um, our mirror, but we've got this nice kind of well, it's not particularly nice, but we've got this this kind of uh, effect of of a scuff that we've added, and it all gets blended perfectly into into the um, into the reflection. Okay, so using these sort of dirt maps, if you like, um, you can use them all over the place to, to give a sense of a, a, a lived-in space. Um, so, you know, ditto, I can, I, can, uh, I can put an image here. Uh, let's just, uh, yeah, sorry. I'll rotate these around. Um, So you can get these these great kind of uh, effects of, of, a, of a, a space that's been uh, sort of lived in has has some 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 uh, knocks off a of a perfect uh, of a perfect model. And again, using images uh, both for putting up photos uh, such as that, but also for adding kind of little details, sort of surface details, dirt maps and the like, uh, water stains, etc., is a is a great way of uh, adding adding kind of some real life to your to your model. 